So, interstellar object 3i Atlas is getting closer to Earth only a few days, which hopefully helps us to solve the mystery. But let's talk about the tail again and what is happening there because now there is information out about that tail that blows my mind, I have to say. The anti-tail, that's the tail that is pointing towards the sun. That's the unusual behavior that we're seeing here because it's not an optical illusion and it also has not been switched off as rumors had it. I've reported about this in my last video. But do you know, guys, how large this anti-tail is? It's larger than the distance to the moon. This is huge. And we have a new image that came out basically and was run through a filter where we can clearly see the anti-tail. So it's a 60 by 60 second exposure and it's the telescope Newton 25 centimeter and it's from the Tony Scarmatos Astronomical Observatory in San Constantino di Briatico in Calabria in Italy. So Italy has taken an image of 3i Atlas. So this has been taken December 15th and when we look at the red part of that image that includes the brightness map um, a Larsen Secanina rotational gradient filter on a fraction of the entire field of view so that we are able to see the anti-tail. So the anti-tail in a sunward direction towards the lower left. So interstellar object, where is the location as of December 15th, 2025? And we know December 19th, it will be closest to Earth. So right now it has a distance of roughly 270 million kilometers from Earth. By December 19th, it will get to a distance a little bit closer of 268.9 million kilometers. So that's only, <laughs> that's only 0.4% closer than it is today. So the data that are collected Harvard professor Avi Loeb has just reported about this today. Um, numerous observatories on Earth and in space will hopefully inform us in the coming weeks about the real nature of 3i Atlas. Hopefully we will get an answer what it really is. And the latest images that we have here, they do show this prominent anti-tail that extends out to half a million kilometers away from the nucleus of 3i Atlas towards the sun. So a sunward pointing anti-tail that is immensely large. The length is larger than the average distance to the moon. <laughs> now you want to know what is the average distance to the moon. It's it's a lot. It's 384,400 kilometers. So an anti an anti tail of this size has never ever been observed before for a comet. Is this a new anomaly? Is this our anomaly number 16? <sighs> I would say so, guys. It's massive. So to reach a scale of 500,000 kilometers over the past 45 days after it was in perihelion, its closest point to the sun, the sunward speed of the material in the anti-tail must be at least 130 meters per second relative to the nucleus of 3i Atlas. So what we need to see now and what's the interesting part, guys, is whether this speed can be maintained by sublimated dust or gas from pockets of ice that are facing the solar wind that's coming from the sun and the solar radiation pressure, right? What is going to happen with that? That is a critical point that needs to be studied and hopefully will be studied to give us answers. And Avi Loeb always says, well, if it's not that, right? If it's not just because of solar winds and solar radiation, and the tail hasn't really gotten weaker 
although three eye atlas is getting further away from the influence of the sun right according to avi love and 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 i agree you always have to be open-minded he says the alternative is a jet from a technological thruster we've talked about this why there are so many huh, anomalies or qualities of three eye atlas that would explain that this could ex really be something like that right and also if we see here on this look at this black and white picture that we have from December 14th you clearly see the tail and the anti-tail and then of course how unusual are these properties of the anti-tail that is displayed by interstellar object slash comet slash spacecraft slash space junk or whatever the heck it is right how unusual are the properties of this anti-tail that 3i atlas is showing us the problem is that's what Avi Loeb is saying, that we do not have a good census of the population of interstellar objects, right? Um, including any traffic or technological objects through our inner solar system, right? Of course, we have state-of-the-art survey telescopes, um, such as ATLAS that has discovered interstellar object ATLAS, but they can only detect reflection from, of sunlight, from objects that are larger than 100 meters in diameter like roughly the size of a football field everything that's smaller is a problem and they can only do that within a distance comparable to the earth sun separation this diameter is an order of magnitude bigger than the largest spacecraft that humanity has launched so far right it, we haven't launched a spacecraft that has the size of a football field but in addition to that, existing astronomical surveys would miss near-Earth objects that travel much faster than 10 kilometers per second. We just would not be able to see them. That is a little bit of a scary thought because we were thinking, well, before 3 i Atlas went into perihelion, closest point to the sun, where it was also hidden from our view from Earth, that would be the right moment to do something to change trajectory, to send probes to the Earth. And it did change trajectory now to Jupiter, which makes sense because this thing started billions of years ago, started its journey when there was no life on Earth. Earth wasn't interesting. Jupiter is way bigger, stronger magnetic field. It's interesting, right? And it's a good base. So it's right into Jupiter's hill radius. Probability that something happens like that is zero. I've, I've given you all the probabilities for all the anomalies, and then we added all the probabilities of each anomaly together, and it was basically zero. It's, it's not really likely statistically that a natural object shows all these anomalies. The videos are in the end screen. It's blowing your mind. So again, existing astronomical surveys would miss near-Earth objects that travel much faster than 10 kilometers per second, and that's the typical speed of asteroids or comets. So in order to assess, what, and we know that 3 Atlas is very fast, whether an interstellar object is an outlier that deserves a, like a high risk classification, right? Um, we need to know the probability distribution functions for its properties, right? Assessments that scientists can make will be more reliable when the sample of the interstellar objects get larger. So everything remains still a mystery and fascinating about interstellar object 3 I Atlas, guys. So I put the playlist here in the end screen. Check out my, I'm producing at least two videos per day about that because every image brings sometimes a new mystery, but I'm also able to debunk some theories and that's good. We, we want to try to focus on really finding out what this thing is. If you want to support the channel, guys, Link is in the description. You can buy me coffee. Fill me up to keep me going. I'll be on the pulse and up in space for you. And if you like the video, please hype, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that stuff. You know it, you're experts. Leave me a comment what you think this thing is and then click here, one of these videos, and I'll see you in a second. Bye-bye.